what do you think? We're out here in the woods, but our camp trailer is not finished yet. No. Like I said in that first video though, I'm a big fan of hammock camping. I mean, you know me, I'll camp in a hammock, bro. I don't need much. So today we're gonna show you how to set up a really sick hammock camping setup. First thing you're gonna need to do is find yourself two trees about the right distance apart for your hammock. So I got this one here. And this one here. This looks like about the right length. I've got some straps here that we can wrap on the tree so you don't have to do any real crazy knots. This is also good because it protects the tree from damage from the ropes. So, okay. So I'll probably send this one around a couple times to get the right amount of length for my hammock. <laughs> We're just getting a tutorial today too. You want them about the same height so that you get a nice flat lay out of your hammock. Now, I don't know, that looks a little bit too close. I'll spin it around one more time. Maybe one more. Let's see where we end up. Spin this one more time. And we might be just right. Or we're reshooting this video because these trees aren't far enough apart. Once you've got your hammock hung up, another easy little accessory that you can add that'll improve your experience is called a ridge line. And basically all this is, is I've got a piece of paracord here that is 80% of the total length of our hammock. So from clip to clip, you measure your hammock and then you take 80% of that and that's how long your ridge line should be. And so you're gonna add that right to the carabiner right there. And I'll add mine. We are just barely too close together here. Ideally, you want this ridge line tight between your carabiners. So you can see we've got some slack. We literally come this far, we might as well find two trees that work. Okay. So if you're not sure if your trees are gonna be the right distance apart, but you have a ridge line, you can actually hook your ridge line up first. You got a buddy, like I do. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> then you can just pull it taut and measure against the trees that way. Man, I really wanted this tree because of the way that it looks on camera. Actually, wait, here, come here. Stand at that tree. Let's try this tree. Hey, we got it. Okay, okay, let's try this all again. But I said that one before. You did? <laughs> yeah. Sorry. We'll let the camera tell. Look at that ridge line perfection. Met Sorry. <laughs> so that's step one. We've got a fully operational hem. Do you want to hop in? <laughs> so as you can see, the ridge line here becomes taut once you're in the hammock and that takes pressure off of the actual material of the hammock itself. Also ensures that you have the perfect hang on your hammock. What can happen is if you try to stretch it too far to get to two trees that aren't close enough together, it becomes too flat, it's easy to roll out. If you have them too close together, you banana super hard when you try and lay in it. If you got them like this, this is gonna be the ideal distance apart for you. So this is actually a two-person hammock with a weight capacity of about 500 pounds. So even though we are packed ultralight, you don't have to be ultralight in order to go hammock camping. Another common misconception about these kind of gathered end hammocks where a piece of cloth all gathered towards the ends where the carabiners are is, like I mentioned, that bananaing where you'll try and lay in it and end up kind of the wrong way. You wanna demonstrate that? Yeah. See this little banana here? That's not what we're looking for. So the best thing to do is when you're laying in one of these hammocks, instead of laying straight down it, you actually want to lay on a little bit of an angle. So if I move, kick your feet over this way and your head that way, see, they're not going to be able to see. Let's spin it. There you go. Nice and flat, super comfy for sleeping in, and no bananaing. The bugs. The bugs are getting you? All right, all right, let's add the mosquito net then. Okay, cool. So right here, I have a mosquito net that you can set up with your hammock. The way this works, it's 
got two ends. I'll give you one, Miss Bridget. So there's two ends here that we're gonna feed our carabiners through. We've got a big zipper in the middle here. So we'll unzip that centerpiece. I'm gonna feed my arm through our mosquito net, putting this thing on like a jacket so I can reach through. And then all I have to do, hand myself the clip, and we can lay our hammock right in. Think you can pull that off, Bridget? Next step, we'll cinch down these ends. That way no creepy crawlers can get in on us. And because we're already running a ridge line, the mosquito net is, is held up by it. But this one comes with a ridge line, so we might as well tie that up while we're at it. All right, now we're getting somewhere. Your bug-free hammock, milady. As you can see, our lovely Bridget here is now fully mosquito netted in. This is really nice because not only does it come up and above, but it completely drops below you. That way, mosquitoes don't try and bite up through your hammock because these are pretty thin and it's happened. But this is only stage two. We're gonna do this in stages. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, this is stage two of our hammock build. Tune in next week for stage three. What is stage three, dude? Stage three? Yeah. Stage three is an underquilt. Hell yeah. We're not waiting till next week. Right here, I have the flare underquilt from Wise Owl. This is a really great underquilt, especially for the price. What an underquilt is, it's a big, fluffy sleeping bag that hangs under your hammock. So what can happen is you get in there, even if you're in a sleeping bag, you're all bundled up. All that airflow underneath you is gonna suck the heat right out of you and give you what's known as cold butt syndrome. <laughs> we don't want any of that here. So we're gonna be putting to use this underquilt. So like I said, an underquilt will hang under your hammock. Um, and so we're gonna put it inside of our mosquito net. You could put it outside, but I think we'll put it inside. And all you gotta do, you've got a couple of these bungees down here. You can attach these together, hook them up on the ends of your clips. This gets hung underneath. It should keep Bridget's butt warm. Let's see if it works. This may not be the right way, but this is how I'm gonna show Bridget to do it. These both have these great little ends on them that cinch shut. And what I like to do is I'll just open one up a little bit, throw one through the other and then cinch it down like that. And then this will clip right into our hooks. Nice, <laughs> you made it look easy. So now we just gotta make sure our hammock lays inside of our under quilt. Now, we've got our mosquito netting exterior, and then we've got our flame underquilt from Wise Owl, and then we've got ourselves our hammock. You cozy? Yeah. <laughs> so again, that underquilt is gonna keep you warm from underneath. We've got our mosquito net to keep the bugs out from up top. We've got our hammock in here, to keep us comfy and off the ground, but I feel like we can do one better. Stage four, dude. Stage four, dude. <laughs> Last but not least, I've got the Wise Fly from Wise Owl. This is a hammock camping or just general camping uh, fly. This thing is really sick. And so basically, I'm just gonna tie that up over across here. So let me get this thing hung up. So what's really nice about this particular fly from Wise Owl is on the very ends here. Let me show you. On the ends, they've got these nice little adjustable pieces here. So what it'll allow you to do is tie up your fly rather loosely like this, and then you can come to the ends here and easier with a helper. Mine's in a hammock. I asked you if you wanted help. 
Cinch that up like this. Do the same thing on this side. Now all I gotta do is stake down the four corners and we'll be in business. Another great thing about this wise fly is it comes with these really nice, I don't know what they're made of. It must be aluminum uh, stakes. These things are awesome. Little pull on the end, nice bright color, easy to find. I've tied little loops at the end of my stringers here. Let's go ahead and stake this in. Same as before, I can adjust my tension right here. That's pretty good. One down, three to go. It's not perfect, but that's just because these trees are a little bit too close together for our fly. Our fly is actually a few feet longer than the hammock. So we're getting a little bit of sag, but it's not gonna rain today and you get the idea. Wanna see what it looks like inside? Howdy. 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 Is it comfy in here? Mm -hmm. You got any bugs biting you? No. Is your butt cold? Absolutely not. If it were to rain, would you be concerned? No. Then we're good. That's stage four, baby. Hey. <laughs> so pretty sweet. There's the red cart for a size comparison. The real beauty of hammock camping like this is that if you don't have the luxury like we do of piling up your cart with gear, for maybe you're on a mini bike, some all this stuff that we have set up here will fit into a backpack and weighs almost nothing. So really cool option for anybody who wants to get out there and experience the great outdoors, but can't afford to drag a whole massive solar powered camp trailer behind them. But we do both, so. There is one more cool feature that I wanna show you guys about this particular fly. And that is down here, you can see in the corners where the strings attach for the stakes. There's a couple little holes here. One here, one here, and same on the back side. And that is so that if you have hiking poles, you can set them up and actually lift this thing up into an awning. And let's say you're riding your mini bikes, your go-karts, you might be able to sneak it in underneath there. So I'm gonna try to set that up real quick. Bridget just reminded me I don't have hiking poles, so we're gonna use some sticks instead. Look at that! How cool is this? I wish we had the mini bike out here now. This would be perfect. Park it right here. Throw on a couple of seats. You have a campfire over there. Not a bad setup. What do you have to say about it? I like it. I love it because all this weighs almost nothing, fits in a backpack. And in just a couple minutes of setup, you got a really cool little spot wherever you decide, pull over and park. But for as cool as it is, we're still gonna have to build that trailer, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. I want the bugs in there. <laughs> <laughs> so if y'all thought this was half as cool as I think it is, don't forget to drop that thumbs up, subscribe if you wanna see more of our overlanding adventures this summer. I'll have links in the description to everything that we used here, especially our wise owl fly and under quilt. If you're thinking about getting into hammock camping, definitely check them out. They have some really, really great gear at really awesome prices. So links in the description. I think we should just go lay down. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Bye. We'll catch y'all later.